the gear shifter reverse there's your backup camera nice thing about this backup camera if I were to turn the wheel you'll notice that you have yellow lines that are turning in the direction of the vehicle the blue lines represent the width of your vehicle and the red line in between the bumper this area here is kind of the danger zone so anything between the red line and your bumper if you see it I would definitely stop neutral drive and select a gear we're at S4 three two and one selected gear think about it this way you're out in Colorado you're taking the Ike gauntlet you're starting to go down that enormous highway and I definitely don't want to use my brakes I could always downshift into say gear number four or gear number three depending upon what angle the vehicle is at obviously if you're at a really steep angle that's up to your discretion but you can always use the selected gear to choose the gear that you want to be in it's also for performance in case if you want to be more of an automatic manual it gives you a little bit more control to downshift give a little bit more throttle and you're able to have a little bit zippier of a car it works really well And it's more of a gated shifter. This came out in 2016 where you had this nice leather glove that went around the transmission area so that crumbs would not fall in between. So that was another good idea that they did. They brought back the uh, buttons on the side of the mouse. We'll go over the mouse in the next video.